This is the best. I'm so happy. Okay, we're gonna start. Welcome to Derailer. This is a TV show that's improvised, and these are my friends who are going to make improv happen on the TV screen. Um, how is everybody? Good. 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 What's, what's new? Yeah. What's, um... <laughs> yeah, is there a spot we should be looking at when we talk to you? No. Nope. No. Nope. It's, there are, there are no rules okay. for this TV like show. Like we're talking to like some we're talking power. power. Yeah. yeah. No, you're talking to me. I make, I help make TV. Um, Very say Jesus. But I couldn't do it without you. That's not, yeah, that's like the third or fourth time the God Mike God joke has been made. So now I'm going to, I'm going to center on, like, um, no? No more God jokes. Yeah. Okay. I was going to like just go with that for uh, the next 58 minutes. <laughs> go with God. Yeah. Go with God. Let's go talk God. about, let's talk about the secular world. <laughs> Really? Do you have questions for us? <laughs> I'm just sort of uh, taking a deep breath. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, we'll, we'll go. We'll go somewhere. We'll go somewhere else. Um, what? Did anyone have any? Uh, did anyone do anything interesting today? We're so interesting, I guess. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday I went on a hike with my dad and my son and my my uh, my partner, my life partner, up to La Terrell Falls. Mm. Mm. This might be my... I might have to... Jump in here. Yeah, and at one point, uh, my partner... We were all walking together, and my dad's in his 70s, and my son is 11, and those are some... Uh, those are some extreme life differences like one person has the energy of the entire universe at their back and can literally run up mountains and the other person uh it's like really impressive that he's out there right it's like good job dad you you helped you walked up this hill today with us it was not it was not it was no small feat that you took this long walk up a hill and like i just wanted to keep everyone together but um the fast young person and the slow old person we're definitely like uh, getting farther and farther apart, and I was starting to worry. Like, and I had to like choose. Like, do I worry more about the eleven-year-old being alone in the woods, or do I worry more about the man in his early seventies being alone in the woods? Uh, I love them both. I don't want to be forced to choose by this magical woods <laughs> moment that I seem to have found myself in. And then my partner just sort of was like, "I'm gonna go." Uh, hang out here by the stream for a long time by <laughs> myself so i really was uh, uh alone and it really quickly uh, made my brain turn inside out and i thought like i was in a magical space where reality no longer uh, had the same rules right which is uh that's pretty silly that's not how reality actually works but the woods <laughs> the woods will do that uh, to me at least being alone in the woods i think like changes your brain yeah and like it turns everything into a parable yeah exactly mm -hmm. like oh now it's now it has very deep meaning and like we ran into other people who sort of appeared to be like we ran into this family that sort of was also having this unique crisis just for themselves and i was saying like this is just an opportunity for everybody to like climb a little hill together <laughs> have kind of a fight have the fight that they were planning to have <laughs> back home but it's a, it has more of a, a weight to it yeah it's funny you use the word parable emily and it made me feel like parabolic mm. like you know everything's distorted and the shapes are a little different mm -hmm. yeah i feel like mountains often show up in parables yeah, yeah. sermon on the mount isn't that something uh, yeah. Christians that, so, that sounds real to yeah. me that's mm -hmm. a thing. just like a sermon jesus gave who? Um, and wasn't was Moses on a mountain when he 
have the Ten Commandments? Mount yep. Sinai. Mm-hmm. Mount Sinai. Yeah. But like sometimes, like if you go to the Northeast or something, they'll call it a mountain and come from the Northwest where mountains are like giant snow capped and you go somewhere else and they're like, that's a mountain. And you're like, it's not that big. So, mm-hmm. mountain yeah. standards. Yeah. Everyone's uh, got different mountain standards. Yeah. yeah, like I learned to ski on a mountain in Wisconsin, which I found out was like not a real mountain. Like it's like a bunny hill. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> that I was like this badass skier and it was just like man made. But, like, the whole, you know, finding, like, meditative solitude in nature thing reminds me of, like, how I was listening to this NPR thing on uh, on Thoreau and Walden Pond and stuff, and, like, I had this moment where, you know, I, like, like most of, most of us who, you know, in high school read Thoreau, like, I, you know, I had this certain idea of what I was supposed to take away from that, and then, like... After I listened to this NPR piece, I was like, Thoreau is a fucking chump. Like, yeah. like I was just like, his mom, like, did his laundry for him, and yeah. she lives, like, not far from Walden. I know. And, like, <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, so even he, like, this person who's supposed to be, like, this pillar of, like, oh, solitude yeah. and independence depended on society, you know? I know, you go to Walden Pond, and it's like, you can see the little cabin, and yeah. it's like, very close to the road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And his sister lived around a bunch of yeah. <laughs> nice try. Nice try. I think it's frustrating where if you if you look into someone long enough, you'll find some shady stuff. Even if there's someone that you respect so much, like or especially today, like uh, sports figures, they're all considered to be terrible people now. But I think it's because we're just getting more access to like their Wikipedia pages and everything, and which is everything's online now. Whereas back in the day, people were still terrible, but it was just easier to hide it. It's like, like in the past, it was like, oh, Dennis Rodman might actually be a good guy. Yeah. He has colorful hair. Yeah. He's just a clip. Is Dennis person. Rodman not a good guy? I mean, bad as I want to be, but what did he really do? Well, he's like, uh, uh, I, I think he's met with the leaders of North Korea many times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think that's because he thinks he's a diplomat. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think it's because he reveres his, I don't know. He married himself. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, he used to wear that wedding dress. Yeah. 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 What do you mean he married himself? I think he, he married himself. Like he, I don't know if he wore it multiple times, but he, he wore a wedding dress and had like a ceremony where he married himself. Aww. That's mm-hmm. nice. No like efficient or anything. anything. He might have done that too. He's a yeah. diplomat. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think when you're a diplomat, you can officiate a wedding. Yeah. Eric, do you have any thoughts on this? I'm just back here smiling. No, I'm like, um, do you guys feel like you have enough yeah. to start? Yeah, let's start. Clear, clear it and then fill it. Not a problem at all. You're, you're Robert? Mm-hmm. Hello, Robert. Um, uh, when is your fiance going to be here? Oh, no. I'm marrying myself. It's just me. I can do both parts. Like, I'll be like. Be like. Uh, that's not how it works. Um, I, 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 I can't, you know, I, I can't fill out your, your marriage certificate. I, I can't make that actually happen. I, Father John, I told you this on the phone. I told you this. I said, I'm Robert. I'm marrying Robert. I th- myself. Well, I, I thought that maybe there was another Robert. I thought that, you know, you, that, that your fiancé was also Robert. Are you telling me that this isn't going to happen? I can't. You can't marry yourself. I'm wearing a wedding dress. Obviously. That's, that's fine. That's all well and good. Should I just that's- throw... Just- Throw this in the fire and just burn it? And no! About this? No, you should put it in your closet and wait until you meet another human being that you can marry that's not you. Wow. wow. I, I did not mean to offend you. Wow. I am so sorry. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Wait, uh, Do you call yourself a man of God? I, I am a man of God. I went to seminary. I, 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 I've devoted my life to this. I want to devote my life to something. Me.
honey, they look so, well, that one person looks so happy with themselves. Right you think maybe you could see us like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Really? Yeah. Like soon? I mean, in like five years soon. Right. Yeah. No rush. Yeah. No rush. So. Oh. Yeah, and that first dance. My heart will go on. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's really sweet. The sentiment. I know. I, uh, I'm really glad you agreed to be my plus one. <laughs> I was single for a really long time, so oh, yeah. my yeah. family is not, you know, they're just used to be being by myself. Well, you don't need to be by yourself if you don't want to be. I mean, we're having a good time together, you know? Mm -hmm. First date at a wedding, I'm not saying we need to escalate it constantly, but I mean, you know, I'm not taking it that lightly either. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I mean, I don't really know much about you, so um, it, I hope this isn't too much bringing you here. No, no. I, I, I just, I feel like I, I'm perceptive. And, you know, you took me to a wedding. Just showing you what's down the road. <laughs> I'm sorry, I usually, I sometimes scare men off. No, no. You couldn't scare me off. A fork is diverging in a yellow wood. Oh, man. <laughs> I know, like... I have been having so many questions in my life. I know. And it's nice to have something concrete finally to decide on. Yeah. It's like, oh, what am I doing? Where's life going? Like, where, do I have a career? Should I, am I falling behind? But like, this is just like a nice, simple one or the other. Yeah, but isn't it like, if we choose one, then it's the right path and one's the wrong path. What? Yeah, like, one could lead, lead to a wildflower field in heaven, and one could lead to, to the raging pits of fiery hell. <laughs> I thought we were just going on a hike. Yeah, we are. <sighs> we just come to this huge decision. Okay. Well... Is that a bunny? Oh, maybe that's a sign. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> uh, paper or plastic? Like, for the bags? Yeah. <sighs> okay, so... I've been trying to recycle more, but then I found out that, like, a lot of the paper, like, it doesn't even get used that much. And the plastic, I mean, fuck, plastic, man! Like, what? Like, I try to reuse it, but sometimes I forget. And then it just gets torn, and then, where's that go? The ocean? We also have these, uh, reusable bags for a dollar. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just do a, just make a decision for me. Just, I, I give up. I let I, my choices go to the universe. I mean, you gotta have some agency, man. You gotta, you, you need a bag to carry your groceries out of here. No, I'll, look, I'll just, I'll just carry them in my arms. What? That's absurd. You can't carry all this in by yourself. I'll, re I'll take the, no, can't take the grocery cart. Look, man, I need you. I, I'm I on can't, the clock, man. I can't help take your, take, take your groceries out of here. I can't do this alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please hold on. Ma'am, I'm sorry. Just one, one, one second. I can call someone and have them help you out to your car? Here, call uh, my sister. What? I can't call her again. She, this is ringing already. Yeah. What, why, why can't you call her? Because I've been calling her a lot lately. I I just, ha yeah, ha hello? Uh, hello? Uh, uh, hi, uh... Daryl. Uh, this is, a. Uh, I'm Daryl's checkout clerk at, at Winco. Oh, how's he doing? Well, he's refusing to pick a paper or plastic bag, and he handed uh, his phone to me. Yeah. Oh, that's typical. He has a really hard time with decisions. Oh. Do you want me to? Usually, I make the decision for yeah, him. Yeah. Could you? Uh, uh, could you just talk to him, and maybe we could keep uh, the line what, moving? What are you doing, Derek? I'm, I'm trying to resolve a conflict Where's here. There's a line. I know I'm working yeah, on no, it. No, it's all on me. No, Sorry. it's actually not. This is the third time he's made a call for a customer S this week. Cindy, I'm so sorry. I, I, oh, I, Cindy. I'm your manager. This is Cindy. 
Miss, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean any disrespect. I'm, I'm gonna have to call you back here. This is your third strike. What? You're firing me? You're fired. Oh, man. I lost my job! <laughs> This land for just me. Oh, I was just wandering. I didn't realize that you could own nature. Wait, no, there has to be a reason why you're here. Did you also have the idea for the next great American novel? <laughs> oh my god. Yes, I did. You're the collaborator they told me about. I, a voice told me you were coming. She's coming. I know that voice. Should be another one somewhere. Uh, be huge. Wait, I'm sorry, what? but it's I don't think this is working out. We were gonna be huge. We were Maybe a great American novel. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Um, there's been a mistake. Uh, I really wish you the best. I'm I'm sure you're probably just an amateur novelist, but uh, I'm not an amateur novelist. This. I wrote the seminal text bad as I want to be. I'm, I'm, you're going to be huge on... Who are you? My name's Barb. Barb. What is your name? Barb. This yeah, is Barb. Barb. Barb, that's the one. This is her. Oh my god, Barb. <laughs> you can go now. It's very rude. I wish you the best. Yeah, God, step into my, uh, cosmic office here. Yeah. I'm, I'm the universe. Right. You know, uh... You, you look know. good. Thanks, thanks. Are um, you uh, expanding or contracting these days? Um, I'm always expanding. Yeah, ever expanding, yeah. Listen, you're doing a great job. I just, um, you've kind of gotten the three strikes. Oh, bro. Uh, I'm sorry, you've, you've done oh, a lot no. for, for matter and existence. It's just, uh, you know, I was, I was watching what was happening, uh, you know, down on Earth the other day with... Uh, yeah. Like, uh, your, your, your eye for accuracy is really taking a dip, so maybe Look, we need to... I told you, dinosaurs, that was going to happen anyway. That was going to happen anyway, just because I wasn't watching that one time. I mean, it's in your performance reviews, man. There, there was dinosaurs, there was... Uh, Bro. There, there were several world wars on your watch, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, well, I got like a whole, you know, whole bunch of plans to watch after. I mean, you know... Gotta make sure the rings are still spinning on a few of those. Gotta. Okay. Oh, come That's on, why we pay you the big bucks, buddy. It's three strikes. Three strikes, you're out. I told you, man. Come on. It's right there. Don't make me call my mom. You're gonna call your mom? You're seriously gonna call your mom? Yeah. She's. You know. She controls time. You know your mom and I don't get along. I don't want to. I don't yeah. want to venture into that, that that territory with you. Well, I mean, I didn't want to bring it up, but she, she's just gonna be. I'm just saying, she's just gonna be pissed when she finds. Her. Oh, I heard you're. Uh, you heard you talking to my son. Yeah, I I, I am. I am. Yeah. Well, uh, guess who runs the clock of this world? Uh, I know you do. Uh, and I and we we can get off to a good footing, but you know what? You know what? I'm the universe. I'm ever expanding. I matter. I'm everything. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you couldn't exist without me. Uh, you couldn't exist without me. I could just erase all time altogether and you would be gone. 
You wouldn't do that. Oh, you watch me. Oh. You just watch me. I brought my little briefcase with the switch. You're not gonna do that. No. I have the switch. Okay, your son, I'm not gonna fire him. <laughs> yeah, cool, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll start, again, start up again. All right, God. You mess up one more time. I swear, I swear to you. I am going, there are gonna be repercussions. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Order. Yeah. Harmony. Yeah. God. God. <laughs> Grandpa, come down here. <laughs> yes, son. I got you. I got you a birthday present for the big seven zero. Oh my God, that's that's incredible. Thank you. Give, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Okay. <laughs> uh, my seventieth birthday. This is all I could ask. For. I wouldn't forget. Jeez. Oh my God. Throw baseball gloves. Uh, you just you just like raid my room and <laughs> take something and put it in a box and give it to me. That's it's, but it's the memories. I thought it's not a gift. That's just you taking something from my room and putting it in a box. I'm sorry. It's a two part gift. It's a two part gift. It's a two part gift. Remember when you played? You always wore your favorite hat. Again, this was just sitting on my dresser. I, I, I mean, I appreciate, I, I appreciate the sentiment, uh, 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 Davy, but this is just not. It's not a gift. I understand. I have one more thing. I have one more. Thing. Okay. I wrote you a screenplay about your life. Didn't find that in your closet, Grandpa. That's just for you. This is just the Field of Dreams script. What? <laughs> hey guys. I, uh, can, we, can everyone come back out? <laughs> Hello. Uh, all I want to talk about is a time, perhaps, where somebody made a decision, right? You have two choices. You can only have one of them. You cannot have both. Life would be so much easier if you could just have both, like first one and then the other, but you were forced by circumstances to choose. So a decision where you, you, you could pick one or the other, but you were forced to pick one. I have one. Well, you're forced by You've got one. I have right. one. All right, Tony. It's not very deep, uh, but deep. No, who, who needs deep? Um, we need details. Uh, when I was in first grade, we had to pick what language we wanted to take, uh, and that was the track that you took for this program throughout uh, from first to eighth grade. So it's eight years, and it kind of it was intense, and it kind of dictated, you know, the kinds of people you're going to be hanging out with, you know, who your friends were going to be until you were around 12 or 13, so uh -huh. the choice was between uh, Spanish and German. Uh-huh. Which yeah. did you choose? I chose Spanish. Oh. And, like, uh, did you ever, in the course of the years that followed, like, see people that you wish you had hung out with more who chose German? The German students were beautiful. Like, they were just better looking people. They just looked more exotic, I guess. Um, and I went to school in Miami, so a lot of people spoke Spanish, so... I made a practical decision, but it definitely wasn't the, the cool, exotic decision. That was that was the German track. Uh huh. But yeah. um, so cool. I need to know more about this. Like <laughs> so, like you chose in what? How old were you when you were forced to choose? Seven. Okay, you chose when you were seven, and you had to live with the choice for uh, eight years. For eight years. So, like, give me give me something like four years into this scenario that you have found yourself in, where where you like look, you look over at those beautiful exotic German students, and like, what are you missing? Uh, they played a lot more jump rope games in PE. 
for some reason. Uh-huh. That was pretty cool. But how come you couldn't play in PE with them? It was very, uh, it was a very separate, I don't know, they just didn't really encourage integration in the languages. Um, so, yeah, we had different recess areas. We went to a what? segregated school. It yeah, was segregated Tony, by language. You started off by telling us that this wasn't deep, and you've just described, <laughs> like, the worst. This is, like, this is the b- biggest problem in the world right now. It was a little bit, yeah. I don't think they thought of it as negative. I thought they thought of it as cultural immersion. Yeah. But I guess it did, it was kind of, every once in a while it felt a little isolating. Wait, so did the teachers, like, reinforce these artificial barriers between Spanish and German students, or? Oh, man. I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure between the teachers there were cliques. Um, I don't know if they encouraged the segregation, but they definitely, I don't feel like they encouraged uh, meshing of the groups. Because there was a, there were um, kind of shows that would go on that the, the parents would come to. Um, where we would sing Spanish songs and do things in the in the culture, and there were the German students that had a separate night where that happened. So, um, yeah. Do you know anyone from the German side? Yeah, I have one friend on the German side, wow. John McGraw. Is John McGraw still beautiful? Oh my God, he got more beautiful. <laughs> he definitely had had that period that we all have, but now he blossomed into such a beautiful, beautiful German man. <laughs> Across the schoolyard here, we, we... If they see you here, they'll kill you. Are they really that vicious? I don't know, but I've heard rumors. No, I, it, that can't be true. We're all here to learn. Jean? What are you doing talking to the Spanish girl? Cuidado! Oh, I, I, I just, uh... I, I just wandered over. I, I, are you really holding a, 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 cr- a, a cricket club? You know this isn't the kind of place for a little boy like you. You see the danger in her eyes? Heed her warning and go back to your side of the playground. I'm sick of being over, stuck over in that side of the playground. I'm sick of it. You don't speak this language. You'll never relate to her. See. We're all here to learn. I said that. I, I'm done with this. I'm done with it. The revolution has claimed many lives in my school. I just want to know one thing. Was it worth it? You're goddamn right it was worth it. I've got the scars to prove it. The past several months have been horrifying. But I'd follow you to the ends of the earth. Are you willing to join me in starting a brand new school? A school where languages mix and children ugly and beautiful can play together. Point me in the right direction, comrade, and we'll make it happen. All right. First, we gotta clean up the bodies. <laughs> Such an awkward day, mixing Protestants and Catholics. Yeah. It's it's rough only having one church in this town. Yeah, we gotta work on the scheduling. Yeah, that's for sure. Put a lot of pressure on us. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I mean, it's hard to be, you know, bipartisan. I mean, I know which side I stand on, so... Oh. Yeah. Oh, I thought they hired both of us for our atheist tendencies, uh... I mean, I'm, I'm atheist with, like, a leaning towards Catholic. All right. Just, I had that upbringing, can't really get rid of, so... Okay. Yeah. yeah so, uh, But I'm, I'm, I can be full atheist today. It's, 
it's totally fine. Okay, totally. Fine. Great. Well, let's just do the budgeting. So we have. Yeah. Uh, okay, so both the Protestants and the Catholics mm -hmm. are requesting similar amounts for their programs, their paper, yeah. all the uh, hymnals and such. Mm -hmm. I, I say just split it right down the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, one of them's going to hell anyways. So it doesn't matter, you know, what they get now. Well, we don't know. <laughs> yeah. You want to see the puppies? Oh, more than anything. Just give me something young. Okay, well, we've got a, we got a litter here. It's a, it's a husky Malamute with oh. a mix with a dash hound. Oh. With a what? Dash hound. Oh. It's German. Okay. But it was born here. Yeah. I breed them here. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's mm -hmm. fine. I'm looking for something that'll that'll ease me into my old age and something that'll keep me company. Oh, you want a girl then? Yeah. Oh, you read me like a book. Read me like a book, this Stephanie, one's every time. Pretty cute. Oh. It's been vaccinated. A couple, couple of shots. Oh, he likes you. My goodness. Yeah. He fits right in the palm of my hand. She's a girl. Oh. She's a girl. Yeah. So they all look like boys. Four hundred and fifty dollars up front. All right. And she's oh. not going to be ready for another three and a half weeks. Okay. All right. That's fine. I. I guess I was really looking forward to having something now. Is there any way I could get sort of a, a substitute just to kind of give me the companionship of a puppy? Well, you could take the mom or you could take the dad, but the mom is a husky Malamute and the dad is a dash hound. Oh, God. I was uh, really hoping to not get a dash hound today. <laughs> Have I had a dime? <laughs> All right. Timmy, I know you are only seven years old, but I think it's time we talk about your asset allocation. Um, we've got, uh, I can put you in the socially responsible investment pool if you'd like. That means you're only going to be investing in, hey, buddy, buddy, you don't, you don't you just want to be drawing all over One your color. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I've got, I've got a little Snow White coloring book right here. You can do that. This needs to go to, um, this needs to go to Edward Jones, okay? So, uh, let's, uh, let's talk about your asset allocation. Uh, okay, um... Mommy and daddy. And oh, so you want to leave money? You, when, when you're a mom or a dad, you want to uh, create a legacy? Is that it? Spaceships. Oh, oh, so you're interested in science. Uh huh. Okay, well, we can invest you in some cutting edge science programs, you know. Yeah. Big oh, wait, space. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> let's, keep you, let's keep your forms all together. Uh, Timmy, I need you to take this seriously. Um, oh, I. I learned today that spaceships uh, sometimes go really far into space and don't come back. That's true, Timmy. <laughs> so what are we going to do about North Korea? Um, well, I was thinking, I don't know what they are, so um, I'm, uh, can we all just play tag? A lot of people's lives are lot of people's lives. We're not, we're not just talking about North Korea. We're not talking about South Korea. No, okay, no. If you press that button, it's, it's not a good idea. No, no. <laughs> no, I shouldn't have mentioned it. I know how you are. No. I'm just here for your advice, really. Does it give me snacks? Okay. Can you don't. Just seriously. I don't want to. I don't want to. No. I hate North Korea. No, I hate them. They're so annoying. Three. I'm gonna count to three. And then I'm gonna talk about what we. No, no. Well, fuck. So you oh, it's glowing red. Oh, damn it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, I thought I was the only one that survived! No! <laughs> Me too. Oh my god. Yeah. 
So it looks like it's uh, just us on planet Earth. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think if you play Scrabble. Oh yeah, I do. All right, I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> I'm so glad I got rid of all those people. I got to be honest. Wait, what? No, what? What do you want to be honest about? I was going to say that my whole family died and I don't know if I could trust anybody. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. You go you go now. You say what you were you say what you I were was going to gonna say I uh, won a Scrabble tournament uh, 3 years in a row. Really? Mhm. Yeah. And then I killed a bunch of people. But the Scrabble was amazing. I'm really pretty impressive. I think I, I think I get what you're saying. Like you, you crushed them. I crushed them. You em. crushed them on the board. Yeah. Two point. Two point. Uh, two, two, two. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't trust you. Oh. I don't trust you. <laughs> okay. This is a knife. I. Uh, that is a knife. This is a knife. Yeah. So you gotta answer some questions. All right. Okay. Yeah. What's your What's your goddamn name? Because I'm pretty sure your name's not Henry, like that name tag says. <laughs> My name is Henry. Oh. I like everyone to know who I am at all times. Okay, Henry. <laughs> How many people have you fucking killed? Uh. Or why does it matter? That none of them are good at Scrabble. <laughs> God damn it. I mean. Uh, all I wanted was to play with the best Scrabble player ever, and that's you. Okay. So, does that even matter? Because you should be flattered. I am. I'm flattered. I'm, I'm threatened and I'm flattered. Well. You finally found us. I'm Milton, this is Bradley. How long have you been looking for us? Three years. Is it? Mm -hmm. You told me it was longer. I only started playing three years ago. I the, the obsession has built since then. Mm -hmm. But I hear you two are amazing. We created it. We invented it. I assume you're here to kill the creator. I I I have to. I'm sorry. But you you have to tell me all your secrets first. And why would we do a thing like that? To, uh, so I can play the rest of my life without worrying about you guys stepping in? One thing you should know, Milton here is 240 years old. I'm a deity. Cryogenics. Spell that. Double word score. I mean, I, I might not be able to kill you then. Double letter score on the R. I, 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 you've already beat me. You read? I surrender. <laughs> I have brought you these hippos as penance for all the sins that we have committed in your name. Hippos doesn't have a very high score on the board. Mm -hmm. oh. But we've been feeding them. They're so, so hungry. Now hippopotamus, on the other hand, if you got the corner. Oh my lords. Oh my lords, I'm so sorry. Kill him! I, I <laughs> have the desire, I think. We can either just talk about Hungry Hungry Hippos and Scrabble, or we could talk about... Uh, I'm still I'm still excited. Hey, Tony and Molly. Come on in. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, I, feel, I still feel like drilling into this uh, having a choice, having two paths. I'm wondering if anyone else uh, had one of those. Or, or option B is uh, Hungry Hungry Hippos. <laughs> If you have any desire to talk about your memories of Hungry Hungry Hippos, I will accept. I'll accept that. I love this multiple choice. <laughs> you have two paths. Grave, two paths, or your experience with Hungry Hungry Hippos. <laughs> or if it's all of the above, right. and it's like your choice was between Hungry Hippos and Milk. And yeah. <laughs> Did any, would anyone ever choose Hungry Hungry Hippos? The bullies. Yes. The bullies. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest, I've never played Hungry Hungry Hippos. Huh. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's just I've done Whack-A-Mole. It's like similar? No, it's just like a clusterfuck of just like trying to eat all the little marbles. Yeah. It's gluttonous. It I've teaches it. the wrong it's thing. Right. Yeah. It's the original button masher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can tell a quick uh, 
Rhodes diverging story Yay. that has nothing to do with Hungry Hungry Hippos. Um, and uh, we'll see if you can pull anything else out of me. Um, uh, <laughs> um, so uh, when I... Oh, I'm making Eric laugh. Um, no easy feat. <laughs> uh, um, so when I was an, an, an undergrad... So in high school... Um, I kind of went through, after high school, I went through this phase where, you know, I spent a couple of years at the University of Oregon, grew up in Eugene, and then, uh, you know, after a couple of years of really having, like, no idea what I wanted to do, I was, like, I, I went through a really rough breakup at the time. It's, like, my first real relationship, so it felt like it was a really rough breakup, but in reality, looking back at it, it's, like, not, it, like, I laugh at it now. I think most people's first breakups are that way. Anyway... But it was bad enough at the time that I was like, I need a huge change in my life. So then I, I like decided I'm going to move to Chicago and I'm going to go to this art school and get like a, you know, some, some degree there. And uh, just because I need to experience something other than what I've known my entire life. So, you know, I went there and um, that wasn't the decision that I'm talking about. What I'm building up to is, you know, I, I spent a couple of years there, hated Chicago eventually, and then was like, I, I, I belong on the West Coast. So I moved back. I became a food delivery driver for about a year where I was like, you know, driving around Eugene and dropping off food for people. And I got a lot of tips in weed because that just happens. And, sure. and um, uh, I eventually got really sick of that. And then I got, you know, another job in Eugene. And, and, uh, and eventually as my career developed, I, I, I ended up getting an, inter an interview. I, I applied for like this long shot job back in Chicago, and it was for, like, a radio job um, in, 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 in production, which was something I'd never done before, um, and I ended up, it was at a public station, and I ended up interviewing for this job, and it was kind of, I, I would file it under, like, a dream job. And yeah, I, Chicago Public Radio. <laughs> um, I, 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 I would file it under dream job, and I would be like, okay, this, if I get this job, I'm, I'm going to take it, but I balance that with, like, I do not want to live in Chicago. And then I remember having this moment when, you know, I was just, like, so content with being back in Oregon and close to my family mm -hmm. and really happy with how things were going and um, also balancing that with, like, this desire to, like, see where this other path would take me, like, doing, going into a field that I've never worked in, but, like, I had a lot of passion for. So I think that, you know, ultimately I didn't end up getting the, the job in Chicago, and I'm really thankful for that because it led to me, like, doing improv and, like, discovering this whole other thing. But, like, um, I still think back to that being, like, an important, like, kind of yeah. juncture in my what, life. What yeah. didn't you like about Chicago? Uh, the weather, yeah. <laughs> more than anything. Um, and also, I... I, I don't think I gave it enough of a chance. I was there for two years, um, and, like, I was still a really, like, anxious and, like, closed-off person when I lived there, so I don't think that I really, like, um, gave it the go um, that, mm -hmm. that, that, that it deserved. Um, but uh, more than anything, it was just, like, I don't think the, the Midwest suited my personality, you know? You'd rather get uh, weed for tips. <laughs> Yeah, uh, maybe it's one of those grass is always greener on the other side sort of uh, things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> See what I did there? See what I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so great. Yeah. Yeah. Any questions? Oh, no. Alright. <laughs> Thank you. that you're living just a half hour away yeah it's really convenient now <laughs> it is i i kind of feel like you should be visiting more often because you live so close but uh, yeah yeah i've just been really busy with school and everything but um i mean i've been busy getting closer to the grave so uh, i think we're both busy are you are you sick no, I'm not sick. I'm just getting well, God, colder. What are you saying that for? I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, it'd be great to see you more often because someday I'm not going to be here and you're going to regret 
Janice, have you seen my life alert? Oh, honey, I told you to stay in the living room. Hey, Dad, yeah. are you, you have yeah. a life alert now? Yeah. Yeah, I figured, you know, I'm hurtling towards the grave. I might as well do it safely, you know? He really shouldn't even be walking. It's a danger to him and everybody. But why didn't you tell me this? I... I didn't want to act. Look, he's, he's actually okay. He's just, yeah. you know, we're just getting older. That's it. Okay. I mean, I could be gone tomorrow. I mean, it's well, just too bad you don't visit as much because you can oh, get quality okay. time with us. It's okay. just like there could be cancer in this turkey and we don't know. Yeah, there could be cancer in anything, I guess. What? Oh, it's a little one. Oh. He is. Oh. I've been dead for 13 years. Grandma? We got yeah. in touch with the afterlife while you were gone. Yeah, she just, she looks really good, but she's dead as a doornail. Oh okay, you guys can remind you of your own mortality. You're getting close, son. You're, you're 18. I mean, it's getting, you're getting up there. No, I'm invincible. <laughs> Take that up. Oh, no, uh, just you're, you're you're right where you need to be. Okay. Okay. We are excited to have you here, and for you to be the next spokesperson yeah. of Bose Audio. I can't wait. Okay. Okay. I just read it in here. Yeah. You you uh, read the prompt. Read it right into the camera, right okay. there. Um, and uh, oh, here's your pair. Here's um, your pair. Um, wait. Let me put this down. Okay. And uh, you just wanna you just wanna really quickly sign this to say that. If this works out, you're okay. What? The promotion after you book what? this, you're gonna be going. It's fine. Just read. Oh. It. Uh, no, it's okay. Um, we're just canceling. That's true. Yeah. We we gotta believe what we sell. Okay. What were we promotion? There's just a there's just a lot that goes into this. It's sort of a tour, a promotion tour. We're gonna go around to different cities, sort of immerse you with the population. Just want to make sure you're ready for all the commitments. So my job would just be to go around to different cities and just tell people. It's it's fun. Okay. It's fun. Okay. We have fun at those. Okay. Okay. And that's a three, two, one marker. We're gonna call a pause really quickly. It's it's okay. I think the problem is that you can't hear anything with the headphones on. I can't hear on. anything. I can't hear anything. And it kind of seems like you can't see anything. I can't see. Oh, oh that, do you want us to pipe in some, some nice music oh, yeah. for you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Maybe something, something okay. electronic, sort okay. of. I don't want to wait for us to be over. And a three, two, one. Yeah. I don't want to wait for us to be over. Okay, we're going we're gonna to stop it one more time. That was good. That was better. Oh, really relaxed. Are you nervous because it's your your big day, your wedding day to yourself? Maybe. Sister. Could be it. I just, I think you're ready for this. I think you're ready to marry yourself. I don't know. I wish I'd had some sort of like Xanax or You don't need it. Relaxers. You're going to have you to take care of you. But am I ready? You know, like, I think I'm ready for forever? To me? I don't know. I mean, there's things I don't like, like, I get so nervous. I know, like, I wouldn't want to marry you, but, yeah. I mean, if you really love yourself. I mean, I think I do. No, I'm not so sure. I mean, you, you have a good point. Yeah, I mean, I, I had to marry someone else to just balance out all of my bad qualities, but. I don't want to leave me at the altar. I mean, I'll never forgive myself. That would be really rude to yourself. But I mean, both sides of you. And all of my family. Yeah. I traveled from near and far to be here. And all of my family too. My bridesmaids and my bridesmaids. It seems like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. I don't know which way to go. That's what I always say.
today on This American Life. Interviews. So, Justin, we got your resume in last week, and we thought, wow, this guy has no experience in radio. How are we going to fit him in to the group here at This American Life? But I, I thought we'd bring you in and just do your interview on the radio. I re I'm really, uh, really uncomfortable with this. I was hoping for just a nor I, I, you know, I prepared all of my chapter notes for one. Just a normal Justin's childhood. So we did a little bit of digging, a little bit of research, and we saw that, well, you had a happy childhood. Something awful happened. What? Why can't we just start with like the strengths and weaknesses questions? I mean, that's kind of what I prepared. We I go to our friends at Radio Lab, Jack. Chad Abu Rob has this story. Wait, why is Chad Abu Rob here? So, Chad, you were doing a little digging on Justin and found that some, something happened, something terrible in his childhood. Yeah, it seems like ever since he got his finger bit by a tuna fish, he will not eat tuna fish sandwiches. But how did you know that? God, that's such a weird, uh, like, minute thing to find out about me. We talked to one very special lunch lady who said she has a very special relationship with you and your your affinity or, or anti-affinity with, with tuna. Uh, yeah, I'm on the line. I what? Yeah, Justin really hates tuna. He's terrified of it. Mrs. Davis, I haven't seen you since I was eight. Uh, look, Justin, you were you were a tiny kid. I just I couldn't forget you. You were smaller than everyone else. You always stuck with me. Chapter two, Justin's insecurities. Now, here on the radio, we, we'd like to, you know, just get to the heart of a story. So why is it that you're afraid of women? This is, this is, this is, I'm really uncomfortable oh, with this. I Ira, I'll answer this for you. Uh, we have his first girlfriend on the line right now. Uh, Stephanie? Hello? Yeah. Am I on? You're on, oh, Stephanie. Hey. You're on. Hi, am I on the radio? Yeah, Stephanie. Can you yeah. just answer us for this? Why, why is Justin afraid of women? Uh, well, it started with the tuna incident. Have you gone over the tuna incident? Wow. Wow. Stephanie, why are you doing this? Hi, Justin. Chapter or three. Justin doesn't get the job. What? <laughs> Molly, did you have an idea? No. <laughs> That's what I figured. Well, this is the epilogue. This is the part where we gather together and decide what just happened. Um, I, I got stuck in my head when you guys were doing radio. <laughs> it's my turn. I, I should do... Uh, I'll do it in the editing. Uh, radio Lab's all in the editing. Yeah. Sound <laughs> effect. Sound effects, so many beautiful sound effects. Um, we were on a mountain. We were uh, faced with a, a path that goes in two, two directions. Tony chose Spanish and changed his life forever. Uh, it was vaguely racist, which I'm still concerned about. Was Tony, just to be clear, like those beautiful people, they weren't like blonde and blue eyed, were they? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, we'll just leave it like that. We'll yeah, no there. comment. Um, <laughs> sorry, you guys, you guys are... Uh, I can, uh, I'm trying to remember what other scene like, pops, pop, popped out. Tony, do you have an idea? I just love the world leader as a child thing. Um, <laughs> it's felt familiar. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's a choice. Yeah. It is, yeah. Yeah, who, yeah. who gets to, who gets to um, decide what to do with North Korea? I think a peace treaty would wait, be nice. That's what I decided after hiking up the mountain and back down again. You solved it. That's what it takes. You did it. I did. Yeah. Let's just let's just give them peace. Maybe they won't use their weapons. Um. Well, guys, 
Thank you so much for being here. If there was an audience, they would give you a round of applause. <laughs> I'm pretty confident. Thanks, Eric. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. What do we do with the next three minutes and 27 seconds? Oh, you know. Push up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, <laughs> three, four, push harder. Thanks. Hey, you can do more. That's more than It's more than anyone deserves to see on TV. <laughs> I won't do it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hola. Hola. Not